What's up, y'all? Here's another how-to video. I figured I might as well since I've already, you know, since the, the CB videos seem to be pretty popular. So here you go. Axle replacement on the 90 to 93 Honda Accord. Automatic transmission. Yep, yeah, it's time to change the axles. I already pulled the driver's side one out and replaced it. Here's the uh, passenger side one. Get the stupid box to stay open. Passenger side axle. Here's a note. The passenger side axle is the same whether it be automatic or five speed. Driver side is different. Automatic is longer. Five speed is basically the same as passenger side. All right, here we go. I'll make this a quick one. Tools you'll need: your lug wrench, whatever size that be. I'm happy to use a impact, and I've got three sixteenths or thirteen sixteenths lug nuts on it because I got aftermarket wheels. You'll need a good jack stand, a good jack, and then before you jack it up, you're going to need a good breaker bar and probably a good cheater bar, probably a long one. And it's the uh, axle sockets are 36 millimeter. And I've already had these axles apart before, so they break loose really easy. I've already got this side broke loose actually. But I've also found an easy way to get the axle nuts off that are seized on is take a Dremel and cut the nuts in half and just discard the nuts because you can buy new nuts. Another thing you'll need is either needle nose pliers or good old wire cutters. A good ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket or you could use a 17 millimeter wrench either one you choose crowbar uh, another tire iron just because uh, you know just for the end you could use either one of these and also you'll need either a flathead or you'll use this and a good hammer and of course you know paper towels because it's a greasy job and you got blown axle all right first thing you'll need before you jack it up, let me go ahead and set this up. Hopefully, you can still hear me. First thing you'll need to do is break this loose, this axle. Like I said, I've already got mine loose. I use a cheater bar on it where it's fairly loose. Go ahead and jack this rig up. Jacked up. Put your jack stand in. Good and snug. Alright. Snap it back on. Hoping you still hear me. Go ahead and break all your lug nuts loose. Boom! There we go. Pull your wheel off. Oh, here's a note by the way. If you got aftermarket aluminum wheels to take these center caps, your bolt that holds the center cap on, put some good anti seize on it. Because I about never got the center cap off. And I actually broke the bolt off on that back wheel, so I gotta drill it out. Retap it so I can use my center caps again. Roll my dirty ass wheel out of the way. And again, this is a dirty job. Because you are messing around the brakes. Which is an absolute horrible job. And I've got to actually replace this rotor because I believe it's warped anyway. So, Alright. Next, you're going to need you know those pliers. Go ahead and pull the cotter pin out of your tie rod in and pull the cotter pin out of your lower ball joint. What you do is you just straighten out your cotter pin best you can. And these are our new lower ball joints because I just put them in probably so 
probably five months ago, and the boots are already trashed. Awesome. Get the stupid cotter pin straight for the most part. So I pop it through, and here's a trick. Grab it and pull like that. Does like a little lever action, pulls it right out without breaking it too bad. Go ahead and get this top one. This looks like it's probably already half broke anyway. So if you need to, replace them. This would be a good time to replace your cotter pins, and it is kind of important, especially being a daily driver. You definitely don't want none of this shit coming loose. Yeah, that pin's broke. All right. Now grab your 17 mil. Let's set this up here. Right. Hopefully you can still see. I'll make sure it's going to loosen. Break the tar rod loose. Usually it doesn't take much. Don't take the nut all the way off, leave it where it's still on there. And here's an important thing. Take your uh, hammer and you're going to hit the knuckle part. You don't hit the ball joint, you hit the knuckle. The part where the ball joint goes through. There it goes. And it just pop through. And everything is covered in grease. Because this stupid tire or the uh, axle's bad. Ugh, nasty shit. Now you do the same thing for the lower ball joint. I'm gonna swing this a bit. That way you can see it. Yeah, that fucking... Ugh. Yummy! I also had a brake failure on this side, so I had to put a brake hose on. <clears throat> break that loose. Not all the way off, but there. Fun part. Get your, your crowbar. Find where it grabs. About right there. And you're going to hit the uh, lower control arm. Or try to anyway. Mm. Fucking knuckles the other way. Yeah. Fun, fun. There it goes. Popped right out. You want to take that the rest of the way off. Go ahead and take your action out the rest of the way off. This one's a little on the stiff side. Yeah, I'll get that way. All right. Might have to uh, give your axle a few taps. Just to free it up. All right. Lift up. It pops out. Here's another key. Put the nut back on. That way you don't screw the threads up. I did the same thing with the tie rod. Now you should be able to pull it right out. That pulls off. Like that. Where that goes. Alright, I'm gonna go grab a bungee real quick. That's another thing I need. Alright, just to make this a little easier, it's gonna bend this. You know, with the camera going and whatnot. Stick a bungee on it and hold this knuckle up. That way, get that out of the way. All right, the proper way to do this is you're supposed to take this bolt out and this bolt out and take this dog bone here out to pull this out, but I hardly ever do that. I am able to pull the axle completely out without it. Get this shit out of the way. You know. There's the fun part. I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, inner hub. 
Sometimes the flag won't work, so you have to use a lug wrench. Both things hit. And you gotta pop it out of the transmission. There it goes. There. Now that's popped out. You just pull the axle out. That yeah, thing. It. There it is. Sometimes you'll lose a little fluid out of your tranny, but it's not really that big of a deal. Now you should be able to, if you're lucky enough, you can just wiggle that right through the dog bone. And yeah, that's screw bar. That's why I'm replacing it. I see one of the axles was popping. I'm just going to replace them both. There's the old one. Take this nut, and I actually saved these old nuts. Yeah. Now you take your new one. Carefully slide it in. And I do mean careful so you don't rip that boot. Get started in the tranny. There we go. Now what I do is keep the C clip. And what I mean the C clip. It's got this little clip on the end of the axle here that, you know, it snaps right into a groove in the transmission and holds this inner in. Many, many ways of doing this. The way I found the easiest is use the axle and just ram it in. Don't pull out too far because you'll pull the, the uh, inner CV apart. Give it a quick little twist. Do it again. That's fully seated. We're going to pull this nut off. Bungee off. And slide this through carefully. I get engaged. Here it goes. And you take your uh, lower ball joint nut off. Go ahead and pick up and back in. There you go. Throw your axle nut on. Alright. There's your basic axle change. Then all you gotta do is just button everything back up. And uh, get your wheel back on, get the thing on the ground, and you'll tighten this down as much as you can with the, uh, the cheater pipe and all to get this snug pretty good. And once it's snug down, you'll see a little groove right here. What you do is you'll take a flathead and you'll kind of beat this edge into it that way it keeps this nut from backing off which they hardly ever do because just the way they rotate but that's basically it there you have it axle change on the 90 to 93 Honda Accord simple as that now uh, I'm not going to finish here because I got to pull this whole assembly off because I'm going to change this rotor out because it's a bitch so uh Hope you enjoyed the little how-to. Later, y'all.